Jesus Christ takes you from reed to a rock. Yes, it's painful sometimes. But remember this. If you don't allow Jesus to take you from reed to a rock, you will never stay as a reed. Because Satan comes and he wants to take you from reed to weed. He doesn't let you stay reed. The moment you say this is too hard. The moment you say I don't want to dream. I don't want to pray harder. I don't want to believe for anything. Satan comes along and he says well since you do not want to go higher let me take you lower. People don't stay as reeds. People become weeds. Remember Judas? Judas comes to Jesus to betray him. And Jesus, I mean that's a foe. A foe is walking right up to Jesus and Jesus instead of calling Judah an enemy, the Bible says he calls him a friend. Because see you can act like a foe, Jesus still sees you as a friend. Always sees you higher than the way you act. Always sees you higher than the way you feel. Always sees you higher than the way you behave. Jesus looks at him, he comes to betray him and Jesus says, friend why did you come? He lifts him higher always than that Judas acts. But Judas chooses to stay on the level of the reed. To stay on the level of his issues. No, I don't want to go higher. This is too hard. I already made the deal. My life is so comfortable. And their devil comes and says, Judas, since you didn't want to go up to the level of of being Jesus's friend. Let me bring you shame, guilt, condemnation. And Judas accepted. He no longer was reed. He became weed. Jesus, Satan came and says, well with that let me bring some suicidal thoughts. He brings suicidal thoughts. Well since you're already thinking that, why don't just end your life? And you see Judas did not just remain as a betrayer. He became suicidal. You don't simply stay as reed when you become a prisoner of your reality you're not a prisoner of your reality satan kills his prisoners satan doesn't keep them in prison he chokes them in those prisons that's why i want you and me all of us together choose god's dream god's vision choose to snap reality out of the bondage in your life and run with god if nobody came to your home group still keep an image you will have 12 of them Put those 12 cups and if you're meeting in Starbucks, God bless you. Buy 12 cups of coffee and invite me afterwards. If your family is not responding and they're not serving Christ, speak life. In your mind, see them serving Jesus. The further they're rejecting Jesus, well, keep increasing your dreams as well. That means they might be pastors in the future. Always have a vision that is not consistent with your reality. Give room to the Holy Spirit to move. In one youth group, one youth pastor had this brilliant idea of bringing people and showing them an illustration. He wanted to show them the power of partnership and he wanted to show how they should treat one another. And he said that imagine that we have a boat and in the boat we have only 11 seats but he puts 12 people in a circle and puts 11 seats there. And he says, well, one of you guys have to jump from the boat so that the rest of the people can be rescued and that the boat won't drown. And there was this unattractive girl in that youth group who was always isolated and nobody ever talked to her and um, she was uh, out of shape and, and she didn't put on makeup, she didn't take care of herself well and nobody really liked to talk to her. And so, and they all as a group huddle up and then this girl was there and they, they said, well, we can't let him jump off the ship, we can't let her jump off the ship, we can't let them jump off the ship. Well, the only person that has to jump off the ship, they didn't want to say it but they wished she would. Her name was Mary and Mary recognized they're trying to call her name without calling her name. She says, I'll jump. They said, no, 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 you don't have to. We can find someone else and she asked them, give me one reason why I don't have to jump this ship. And there was this silence and not one of them could give them a reason. Next day, Mary jumped the ship. She committed suicide. And every single one of them recognized the vision they had of Mary and how they confirmed that vision when she asked them the question why I shouldn't jump and nobody could say anything. Satan came to that vision he added another layer and didn't just leave her on the level of depression I am nobody nobody loves me but brought her to the level of suicide and death. Christ will take you higher 
but don't for a moment think Satan will let you stay on the same level he wants to drag you lower that's why you can't stay in the middle too long you gotta climb up higher with God always push further with God when you reach your dreams set them higher because Jesus will take you from reed to a rock but the devil wants to take you from the from the reed to something nastier and something worse can somebody say amen